Welcome back. We are going to be doing, uh, that is a, what, what should I call it? It's a, it's a thingy. Sometimes I can speak and sometimes I can't. Um, let's do monster. I think I already did a monster ball. Did I do a monster ball? I don't know if I did a monster ball. We'll do a monster ball. I think it's an assault rifle, the, uh, LA 850. Is it a bullpup? Is it a bullpup? It is a bullpup. SA-80. Thingy mabubber. I don't know, like, basically anything about guns. I think that a bullpup is where you, like, load it through the butt. I, I really don't know. <laughs> um, for skills... This seems... Like, good to me. I'm not really going to be using it too much anyway, the bullpup, um, the Ellie, the, the thingy, whatever it's called. LA850, the LA850, I don't know. Whoa, bats! Um, because I don't really like it that much. I think it's a commando weapon, isn't it? I could be wrong. Oh, wow, it's so weird using this, like, just after using the, um... The incision because the recoil is like so low and the bullets just feel so pathetic you know also infinite Z time is a little um hard to get used to i wish you could disable that because i don't really want infinite Z time on solo hard because there's just i'm not i'm not gonna die without said time anyway. It's more for when you have like a class that actually benefits from said time or when you need to have that like a little bit of a crutch in like a panic scenario to be able to aim and uh, accurately hit the heads of, uh, of Zeds. It's not really a thing that a commando uses. They just create it. Well, they extend it. The sharpshooters create it. Anyway, we'll go get this uh, this weapon and start shooting some Zed heads. I don't really care about winning this match. We're gonna try, obviously. I mean, I want to win every match, right? I'm golden. Bop. Um, I want to try. Oh, you can't. It doesn't. This music plays anyway. Okay, hold up. We're gonna have to do it this way. I didn't want to because I'm a little sick of the in-game music, honestly. But, you know, I guess it's like a sound effect, technically. Why did I refill this? I'm a fool. We need this. Yeah, I believe it gets filled from the... The butt, the right? Ba -ba. I don't know. I watched, I watched, like, a video on some, like, shotgun bullpup thing. Once. I don't know. Sometimes I watch videos on guns. Because I get linked to them. And I'm like, okay... I'll pretty much watch any video somebody likes me, you know? They're like, hey, watch this. I'm like, eh, I have time. Why not? Put it on in the background. Sometimes you learn, like, stuff. Sometimes you learn stuff that isn't right, you know? Like, maybe, maybe that's not what a bullpup is, and I am just very uneducated and uh, wrong, you know? Who knows? What I know is that this is a bullpup, whatever it is. I thought that's what it meant, though, for it to be fed from the butt. It's got like a little butthole in there that bullets get pushed into, something like that. I don't know. It's magazine fed, but magazine? Is it a magazine? Or is that a clip? I don't know. There's like a difference between it. One of them is discarded and one of them is reusable. I call them all magazines because, to me, they are the same thing. So I've never used either of them. I don't know. Can you, like... Are they, like, interchangeable? And, what like, is that the only difference? Is that one of them is, like, reusable and the other one isn't? Like, one of them is made to be discarded and the other one is made to just continually be used? 
So one of them would be more useful for like practical combat and the other for like shooting ranges and stuff. But they would otherwise be interchangeable on the same weapon or do like weapons have to be built to utilize the magazine versus a, a clip or, or whatever. I don't know. I won't know unless uh, I'm ever told because I'm not going to look it up because it's not... I don't really mind that much, and even if I do look it up, I'll probably just forget it anyway. I do realize I have no armor. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, this this round, and then uh, we should be good with this, and we can get a, a good, usable weapon, like a um, stoner. I love the stoner. You know, some people, like, I look up uh, commando guys, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you want to use, like, the foul, or... You want to use the scar and the MKB or whatever, and it's like, nah. You know what? <laughs> go for the stoner and the Tommy gun. Now you should go for a stoner and uh, scar. We have a whole bunch of uh, real. I'm trying to get better at the head tracing stuff. As you can see, I'm not good at it, but I'm trying. And that's the most that you can ask for some from somebody, right? That was an invisible stalker, even though I'm commando. I guess it was because it hadn't like quite loaded in yet. I don't know. That's kind of strange. So I thought that they should always be visible at that range as a, as a commando. Level 25 commander, no less. Does commando increase the... Distance? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I knew it did in KF1. I wasn't sure if it didn't. Does it in KF1? God, I don't even know anymore. I know I said that we would do uh, gunslinger as the next one, but um, I forgot. We have to do... <laughs> The, uh, the, the SAAD thingy. Gunslinger in the next one, maybe. I do want to try out the, the SPX Centerfire. Maybe we'll do another one tonight. I don't know. It won't be until tomorrow morning for you guys. But I might do another one tonight, because I do want to try out the SPX Centerfire. I might just do a run with it. Who knows? Okay, we can refill that, and then... So this gun is like really long reload time and uh, that can cause some serious problems in solo play when you're trying to uh, reload and you're surrounded by Zeds. But it does a lot of damage and has a lot of ammunition. Um, so. You know, you just got to make sure that you reload at pretty much every opportunity that you have to uh, safely reload. Jeez, you went flying. So, yeah, every time you can reload, reload. Because you don't want to be caught up with an empty weapon. <laughs> I don't know, is it a clip or a... Uh, when you have... Uh, a bunch of Zeds around you. In uh, in party play, it's a little bit better because you have people covering you. Um, but in solo play, you have to worry about your ammunition. Oh god, there's a siren there. Because you know, if you had like that happen and you had this many bullets in your weapon, that would be a, a big problem. So, even if you're only missing like 10 bullets, I mean, that, that could be the difference, you know? I love reloading in real time. I think Gunslingers can do that too at 25. Berserker, I really want to be getting it to level 25, because moving in real time in Zed time seems like just a ton of fun. Uh, we might end up needing a new weapon as well, so we'll get the uh, AR-15. Just for something else to have. Uh, but I think 
on hard as long as it isn't something like the matriarch no I thought hey Like, we're gonna die. I'm just... Fair warning. Right here. This this will uh, likely result in our death. Unless it won't. Once, once she loses her cannon, she's kind of very weak. But we're probably gonna die before we can get rid of her cannon. Unless we aren't. Yeah. Okay, we might actually be able to beat this then. Yeah, once once that's all she's got, then she really can't do much. She could do that like explosion thing, but that is may as well be nothing, you know. Yeah, she's not that bad once you can get rid of the uh, the cannon, but she has a lot of armor, so it's kind of frustrating, nevertheless. Still my least favorite boss. I, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe the KFP is my least favorite boss. The Matriarch is less balanced, but at least she's a challenge, you know? At least the Matriarch is hard. Even if it's like a bad difficulty, you know? I don't know. The KFP and the Matriarch are both kind of up there for bad bosses, though. Anyway, that'll be it for today. I got these two videos done, thankfully. Talked about the game a lot in this one. I'm trying not to. I'm trying. I really am. I don't know. I want to get better at rambling about random stuff. But, yeah, that'll be it. See ya. Bye-bye.